Hey there, everybody. Johnny Upsett here. Today I'm going to talk about the Conestoga wagon, the Mack truck of the 19th century, and William Henry Harrison, the ninth president of the United States, and the only one from Indiana. But I want to know one thing. Why'd the apple begin to cry? Somebody hurt his feelings. Welcome to Footsteps to Flight. What's that sound? Hey, it's my good friend Snapple. How are you, Snapple? Hey, do you mind helping me with the show today? Sure. Great. Wagons have been around for a long time, and they can be powered by animals such as horses, oxen, or mules. Now, the 18th century Conestoga wagon was a freight wagon. This massive wooden wagon was invented in the Conestoga Township in Pennsylvania. People still use Conestoga wagons today to haul freight? I'm afraid not. Did you see what I did there? <clears throat> the inside seams of the Conestoga wagon were coated in tar to prevent leaking when they traveled through rivers. Do you know what tar is, Snapple? No. Tar is a substance that comes from coal, wood, or peat moss. It's been around for a long time and was first used in the country of Greece. No, not that Greece. Well, furthermore, tar has been around since the Iron Age. That's Iron Man. The Iron Age was around 1200 years BC. The Conestoga wagon was unusually strong and could carry up to six tons. Do you know how much a ton weighs? A ton weighs 2,000 pounds. So you're saying a ton weighs a ton. <laughs> the most popular route for the Conestoga wagon to travel was from Vermont to Alabama through the Appalachian Trail, which was 2,168 miles long. That must have been the biggest apple in the world. One last thing. The Conestoga wagons were the first to travel exclusively on the right-hand side of the road, which is still in use in the USA today. To me, it's pretty amazing that these wagons set the standard over 250 years ago. Coming up next, we're going to talk about William Henry Harrison, the ninth president of the United States. The only one who snaps. Oops. Around the time of the popularity of the Conestoga wagon, there was a man named William Henry Harrison who was elected president of the United States. William Henry Harrison, you are not going outside dressed like that. It's freezing. You put on a warm coat hat. But, Mom, I'm the President of the United States. President Smezant, you go upstairs to your room, put on some nice things. Now, I'm going to the kitchen to make you some nice hot chocolate. Do you still like those miniature marshmallows? Yes. <laughs> President Harrison should have listened to his mom that day because he got pneumonia, and after only serving 32 days in office, he passed away. There must have been something pretty special in the Harrison blood because his son, Benjamin Harrison, was elected 23rd President of the United States. This is Johnny Appleseed. And I'm Snapple. And we'll see you next time on Footsteps to Flight.